We grieve, as all families do when something like this happens. Every day since then, it's almost minute by minute, you kind of feel like you've gone back a year. You just know what you're doing at that exact moment. A new day brings with it a reminder. This devastates a family, it devastates a community. A reminder that it's another day without Jack. We had 15 years of great memories in the house with Jack. He's, he's a great kid. Rick Padilla yeah. will always choose to talk about his son. We did everything we could to help Jack. He knows there's a void in his home. Hey. Today, it's filled by friends. Hey, you guys are getting so tall. Who've become family. Hey, man. It's good to see you. Good to see you Thanks for coming out. They're here for the Padillas. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having us. Ah. And their son, who will always be 15. Emery, how are you? Good. How are you? good. Come on in, guys. We're just loading up. And then we'll probably Thank you, guys. Madam Speaker. Members, I have a very serious tribute if I could have your attention, please. One year ago, Jack's family didn't think they'd be here. And today, the governor proclaimed Jack Padilla Day. At the state capitol, honoring Jack. We have with us the Padilla family who lost their son Jack to suicide. One year ago. That was Jack, too. The heart of every team, the heart of every classroom. Um, Part of our family, too. Oh, yeah. His family is still coping yeah. with what they've lost. The loss of a child's one thing. The loss of a child by suicide, it brings a whole different dimension to it. I don't think we'll ever totally know why, except that he was 15 and he felt like he had no friends. He had, he had other kids literally telling him, Snapchatting him and telling him to go kill himself. His mother, Janine, two kids did that, saw a change in her son. We saw that he was starting to struggle, you know, and we talked with him a lot about that. And we did try to get him help. Um, you know, sometimes places were full and didn't have a bed. Sometimes he would say, I'm not suicidal after he just told me that he was. And the hospital would let him go. And I was, I was always afraid I'd never get him back, you know. It, I mean, it, it was shocking, but we knew that he was suicidal, you know, but still unable to stop it from happening. This is incredible. Thank all of you for coming out today. If we want to make change, we, as a family, talked about when Jack passed, we have to be willing to share our story. Jack's friends stood together. When we were sitting in committee, Rick Padilla came and told us the story of Jack. On another day without his son. This is a tough day, but this is a great day. Rick Jack. will share his story. These young people behind me, they were friends of Jack's. He will choose to stand up. And that's who Jack was. For the Jack kids knowledge. who stand behind him. We are Jack, Jack Strong! Thank you very much. In Denver, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News.